Hello, friends that live within the internet. My name is John, and in this video, I will be showing you how to create different environments within Contentful CMS. Now, back in the day when we used to self-host our CMS systems, setting up different environments for, say, development, QA, clients to sign stuff off on, production used to be a pain in the bottom. It used to involve setting up loads of hardware, maybe configuring servers, basically messing about. Now we are living within the future and we're all using these SaaS based CMSs. However, because we're not actually installing anything, how do we work with different environments in our development workflow? Obviously we still need all those things. So what I will be doing in this video is showing you exactly how to do that. Hopefully within about five, 10 minutes, you'll know exactly everything you need to do to get up and running. Now, if you haven't come across my videos before, my name is John and I do weekly YouTube videos on web development, productivity, coding, all of that sort of beautiful stuff. So if you haven't already, because you're a numpty, hit that subscribe button because obviously this is YouTube, it's very easy to lose content, so click subscribe. Now, assuming that you have done that, let's crack on and start looking at these environments within Contentful CMS. Okay, so we'll be starting today's journey by logging into the Contentful, creating an environment and generating some access keys. Next up, we'll be updating our application, which was written using Next.js to use those access keys so we can swap between the different environments. Finally, we'll be updating the Netlify and creating a new app so we have different applications generating different content. Sound good, amazing, perfect. So obviously I should have said at the start of this video, this is probably episode 10 in my Jamstack series, exciting stuff. In each episode, I've been building this website up. The website is available to download from my GitHub or it's available from the link below. Link below is gonna be much easier for you, so click on that. But my GitHub is John D. Jones. If you wanna see the previous videos, just you know, go through my YouTube, John D. Jones, you'll find it, I'm sure. So let's create these different environments because it's gonna be very really super exciting. So what we're gonna do is go to the our login, clicking on login, I'm gonna use GitHub to auto log me in, which is a very nice feature, I think. So once we're in our Contentful CMS, I'm gonna prove that we have no different environments by clicking this little arrow. Now, as you can see, there's nothing there, there's no different options. I've got nothing hidden up my sleeves. So what we're gonna do is create ourselves a little environment. So we're gonna go over to staging tab, the settings tab, sorry. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna to go to environments. So in this environment, you can see that I've got production and I've got this alias up here. Now, if you're opening Contentful for the first time, you won't have this alias and your environment will probably be called master. So it looks slightly different because I've been messing around with Contentful and you can't roll stuff back. Mine just looks like this. So what you basically wanna do is create yourself an alias. That's really cool. So I really like aliases because it helps copy content between environments. So this is a really nifty feature, I think. So imagine that you're doing some development work, tippy tapping away, you're adding some content in the CMS to make sure your components work. Now you need to get the client to sign it off. Instead of having to manually copy your content, what you can do is delete your staging environment and then completely recreate it based on development. And the way you can do this is via an alias. So create one of those, I won't show you in this video, but it's super useful. Now, another way you can update environments in case you're interested is using the Contentful CLI. So using the CLI, you can import and export content all through the command line and force updates, all that sort of stuff. That's probably the recommended approach. However, it is a bit long-winded. So I just like this delete environment and recreate it based on a different environment approach. So let's stop me waffling on and on and let's get on with creating this environment. So as you can see, I've got this big, beautiful blue add environment button. So what I'm gonna do is click on that and I'm gonna call it staging. So staging. Now, as you can see, we've created staging. Let's just quickly refresh the page here. And then when we go back in here, if I click on here, perfect. You can see up here, I've now got production and staging. So to tab between different environments, all I need to do is click on that environment. And as you can see here, it's now saying we're in staging. So staging is a completely separate content environment. So let's say I update the main page with staging, staging, whatever that is, badly typed, publish it. So this is just gonna update the content in the staging environment. It's not gonna to touch anything in the master environment. So this is how we can create different CMS environments. So what we're gonna do now is go back to production. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we want to generate an API key. 
Now, as you can see, when I'm opening the settings here, I do not have access to create a API key. And this is because most of the stuff and most of the admin stuff within Contentful can only be done from the master branch. So let's go back to the master branch, as you can see. Now click on the settings menu. You can see we've got loads and loads of good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is click on this API key. Clicking on the API key, you can see we've got prod API key, which we set up in a previous video. What I'm gonna do is click on this big add API key at the top right, and we're gonna create a new API key. I'm gonna call this staging API key. Exciting, right? And we're gonna call that staging. Now scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we have environments and aliases. So what I wanna do is untick master and tick staging. Now, if I click save, you'll see that I have this access token for the content delivery API and a preview access token. I wanna to copy these values and we'll be using those within our next JS application next. Okay, so we've been magically transported into Visual Studio Code and we've now got the next JS application open. So let's quickly recap what is going on here. So as you can see at the top, I'm calling this util function called fetch entries. And basically from here, we're using it within the get static props because we're using Next.js. What we're gonna do is create a Jamstack website. We're gonna statically build it. So we want this to happen at server side render. So we need this get static props. And in here, we're just calling our util function. This is calling contentful. Life is very beautiful. So what we want to do is basically create um, and set that contentful page util function to work with different API keys. Now there are a plethora of different ways of doing this. I'm gonna pick this way because it's my video and I get to do what I want. It's up to you how you wanna use it, but you know, this one works for me and it will basically mean that it's really easy to configure Netlify later on. So go with this one. So as you can see, we've got our master space ID access token preview token. We created this above. Now, what I've also created this contentful environment and set this to staging. So this is gonna use our new environment we've created and we're not gonna use the preview. So this isn't gonna use the preview K. Now I've also created a new, um, two new variables. One which is called the delivery token, which again, we created from the step previously. And we've also got the preview token. So what we wanna do is create a new util function and I think it's gonna be called config manager. It can be called wherever you want, it doesn't make a difference. So in here, we need to export ourselves a nice little function. So we're gonna do export const, get config, and this is gonna have two, yeah, two different environment variables. So one which is called environment, and another which is called preview mode, which will be a ball. And this is gonna be a array function. And then we also need to do the export module thing. I forget to do this all the time. So module, module export equals get config and get config. So get config, get config. Uh, beautiful. So what we wanna do in this little function is create some logic to pick which API key we should be using. So what we wanna do is return an access token. So let's create that set it as empty. And the reason why we're let is because we're gonna update it in a minute. So what we wanna do if environment deeply equals staging, do one thing, otherwise do another thing. And we want to return some objects. So we want to return our access token. We also want to return our space ID. So space ID we can get, if you remember, from process.env.contentful space ID. Let's do a copy and paste, otherwise I will make a typo. Also, I hope you figure out what I'm mapping things to. So contentful space ID right here is gonna go into the space ID. And let's also return our environment because contentful will need to know that, otherwise it will throw an error. So what we wanna do in here is set the access token to the staging variable. So access token, and this is going to equals the process.env. And again, let's copy and paste so you know which one we're using, is the staging contentful delivery token. So the one we just created. Going back to our config manager, if we're not going to be using staging, what we're going to do is use the master access token. Ooh, ooh. 
So we're just gonna copy that. And then we're going to update this line here. Beautiful. So, I mean, this should, well, I copied the wrong thing there, didn't I? So we wanna access token and then update that. So this code's pretty self-explanatory, should be fairly simple. What we can do now in our contentful page is we can delete this and we can do uh, const and then we can do an import and then we can do get config which is going to be like that uh, config manager even i'm failing on this config manager equals require and then we're just going to do our dot slash config manager so we're going to import that now the things that we need to do in this are really important so first we need to get our config manager so what we're going to do is get our config from our config manager so let's just do config manager get config and we're going to pass in our environment so to get our environment variable we need to get it from our environments so we're just going to do environment, environment, there we go. And this is just going to be process.env. And then this is going to be this one here, contentful environment. So it's set to staging, remember. And then this is going to be staging, beautiful. So as you can see, we're pulling in our util function. We're getting the environment. We're passing that in. This is going to give us some config. So then what we want to do is do a const client. And then this is the contentful thing. So we want to do require. And then we want to require contentful. Contentful. So in here, we want to create our client. So create client. Beautiful. And then we're going to pass in an object. So what we're going to do is have space and that's going to be config space id we also want our access token which is then going to be our config access token and then finally we need an environment so environment which is then going to be config.environment so as you can see we now have a nice way to configure our contentful access so let's look at our website and see what happens Huzzah! Our website is loaded and as you can see we've now got our staging text appearing on our website. Beautiful. So now we have a way to switch between our staging environment content and our master environment content. So obviously you can extend that for as many environments as you want. Next up let's have a quick look at Netlify and have a look at how we configure it. So as you can remember right here, we've got our next boilerplate HTML site. So this is my published page. So what we want to do is click on site settings. We want to go to build and deploy. And then we want to scroll down, scroll, 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 scroll down. And then you can see we have this environment section. So as you can see, I've got this contentful environment. So this exactly mirrors that environment variable we created in our project. So if I wanted to display staging on this website, all I need to do is change this to staging and then this will toggle between master and staging. So obviously I want to keep this as master. However, I'll show you what we can do. So what we're gonna do is new site from Git, GitHub, authorize me, go to my contentful Next.js starter kit as you can see, we've got my configurations getting pulled from the Netlify Tommel. I can do show advanced where I can do a build setting. I will configure this in a little bit. So what we're going to do is deploy. Now what we're going to do is site settings. Go back to our build and deploy environment variable. And then let's quickly copy and paste that from our application. So this is just going to be contentful environment and it's going to be staging staging we're going to click save now when we go to deploy what we're going to do is cancel this cancel you idiot we don't want you deploying that what we want instead is to trigger new deployment with our environment variable off it goes doing its thing and basically when this is finished compiling what's going to happen is the site's going to launch and we're going to see our staging content <laughs>
The final thing that I'd like to wrap this video up with is just going over the preview mode. So when you're using a CMS, obviously when you publish the website live, that's what the world can see. However, the lowly little content editor, when they're making their changes, they will need to preview what they're doing. Otherwise they'll have no idea if their content looks any good. And this is the reason why Contentful comes with a preview access key. So to create an environment that uses preview mode only is very simple. It's basically exactly the same as we created the environment following exactly the same steps. I will show you now quickly. So what we can do in our environment file, remember that I've created this contentful is preview. We want to be grabbing that. And we also want to be grabbing our preview access token, which we'll grab shortly. So in here, what we can do is just duplicate this line quickly and call this is preview. And then we just call this preview mode simple and pass that in. Remember we had that optional parameter earlier. Now going back to our code, as you can see, we've got this contentful preview access token. Now let's be honest, when we're doing this, we only probably really care about doing this in production. So let's just do if preview mode, set the access token to preview mode. Otherwise, what we will do is default to the normal view. And obviously you can go to Netlify, you can set everything up yourself. Now you have a complete foolproof way of creating different environments, how you can get editor preview working. You know everything because remember, you are an absolute legend. And that concludes the end of another video. So I'm hoping this video was useful for some people out there. I know that configuring environments isn't super sexy. However, if you're working with contentful CMS and a team of developers, this stuff is actually super useful to know. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what people say and I do try to reply to everyone. So please reply. Now, one thing I always forget to say is I do do a weekly newsletter. It goes out every Sunday. I just give you updates on videos, content I've been creating, and cool, useful links that I found that week. It's absolutely free. You can sign up below, so just click the link. If you haven't already, because remember, you only haven't done this because you're a numbnuts, click that subscribe button. It's the easiest way not to be called a numbnuts today. Also, if you want to do me a solid, hit that like button because liking stuff basically trick YouTube into showing my video to more people. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have found massive value from this video. I hope you're having a great day out there and happy coding.